Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 3 of season 2 here in the Youth RTG. We start with a game away from home against Brentford, so that are also challenging for promotion this season after getting relegated from the Championship last year. We find ourselves in 7th, they are 4th. Plymouth currently top of the table alongside Wigan, the only two sides to this point, having a 100% record. Then we've got 8 games in the month of September, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Brentford, uh, then I'm going to simulate the next five, play Hull and play MK Doms, I believe. I might, I might play Luton or Bristol Rovers though. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how the other results in the league go between now and then. I haven't decided yet. I'm definitely going to play MK Doms though, obviously, with it being Wimbledon and MK Doms. So we'll start with the game against Brentford, play it, hopefully get a draw maybe and see what happens in the simulator games and take it from there drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content whether that be this series or the Southampton series but for now we're going to jump into this game against Brentford away from home McCall for to Lyle Taylor I had to start a couple of fringe players because of uh, fitness one being McCall here and a great run and he will bring it down and can he find a teammate Lyle Taylor Oh, I won't quite drop in time for Quesi to be able to turn it home. I see the man running on the edge of the box, but I can't find him with the pass. Oh, I've just come from recording a Southampton video, so I would have been able to make that pass in that series. That's why I went for it. But unfortunately, in this series, with players that are rated 20 ratings lower, I'm not quite going to have the same success rate, am I? Nearly 1-0, though. Good move to start us off. He might be coming up the other end and causing me some problems, but Dimitrov cuts that out, and his clearance hasn't gone well at all. Roman Sawyers will... Oh, Bennett, that has not filled me with confidence at all, but at least we've cleared it away. Might be able to go on a counter up the other end again, actually. And Lyle Taylor will drive into this space. Quezzy's my top goal scorer so far this season, but Lyle Taylor could have a pop from the edge of the box. He could, but he shouldn't have. Here's Emiliano. Good turn. I step in by Stoyanov, poke forward there to Lyle Taylor, around the corner to Quezzi, keep that in, good lad, turn inside, arriving is Samuel de Jong, and in the middle is a teammate, Lyle, 1-0 Wimbledon, <sighs> in front early on, it's not something I do very often in this save, and I'm glad that we've actually been able to do it, nice run from Samuel de Jong from deep, finds Lyle Taylor, and then it's just a simple tap home. We're 1 0 up. Picked off by Stoyanov. McCall. Okay, that was terrible. Not doing that again. Here's Rico Henry driving forward. Is he onside here, Woods? He is. He's hit the post. Since he just stretches to get there, Roman Sawyers with a shot. Oh. They just wouldn't stop. They kept firing forward. Hit the post. Since he gets it away. Stoyanov or someone blocks it and then they can't get up in time. He just runs onto the loose ball and powers it home. Ryan Woods makes it 1-1 or is it Michael Woods? It's someone Woods. I think it's Ryan. I'm not sure. Stoyanov into Lyle Taylor. Turns well. De Jong. I'll go back to Lyle. And Quezzy's through this gap. And Quezzy will turn. Quezzy! 2-1! With... I've gone straight for a kickoff and scored! What's going on? Two minutes after they went. Yeah, two minutes after they pulled it back to 1 1, we've gone in front again. I'm not used to this. Dion. Forward to Lyle Taylor. McCall is making the run. His first touch has been terrible to this point in the game, but he's done well there. We'll turn his side, and I'm going to look for the pass. Oh, it's a lovely ball! Three! That should be game. That should be three points. Really nice ball across. Picked him up beautifully and a good finish too. 3-1. Get involved. It's good football. Well, away we go again. Lyle Taylor. Just going to have to... Was that a foul? It is. Free kick on the edge of the box. Just had to hold off the man next to me and wasn't able to do it. But we'll take the set piece. It's a bit close really. For, oh, 73 accuracy is decent. But the fact he's only got 50... 
50 odd power is going to let him down. And McCall! No. Just keeps running and keeps running. And Emiliano. Oh, finish off the post. Brings Brentford back into it at 3 2. In fact, the Rick of Henry was just so determined to keep running, completely caught me out. I wasn't ready for that. I thought he was going to pass it off earlier. It's a lovely finish, so. Right. Time to uh, solidify at the back. 3 2 with 10 minutes to go. It's Rico Henry with the ball over the top, looking for another assist, Rico. But Herano does well. Please get to that second ball, too. Uh, and the third. And the fourth. Oh, no, Rolly Campbell's knocked that straight in front of. No! Oh, jeeps! We do get three points, but they hit the post with the last kick of the game. Oh! That'll test a man's heart rate. Bloody hell. 3 2 to Wimbledon. We get the victory. Right, let's go and sim that cup game. Cambridge lost. Right, scouting update. Marcos Andrade, 63-79. I'm going mm, to say no to him. Uh, Adriano Guerra, centre mid, 70-90. I don't need a centre mid, but he looks like he's going to be good, so I'll sign him anyway. 73-94 intrigues me, although he's quite low overall at 17. I'll say no to you. I'll say no to you. I'll say no to you. And I'll say no to you. Right. We've got... Yep, yeah, okay, good. We've got one other to look at from you, McDonald. Hans Schneider on the right-hand side of midfield. Um, I'm going to say no. 69 to 89, 31 to 41 average overall. I've got so many centimetres already. I just I just don't need another one. Oh, 61 to 79. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. 73 to 94 has me intrigued. Please be a striker. Florian, please be a striker, although you're not that highly rated presently. We'll have to wait and see. 74 to 94 also has me intrigued, but again, Daniel Dietrich, not that highly rated at present. Give it another month. 63 to 85, I shall say no. 52 to 72, I shall certainly say no. And 60 to 82, I will also say no. Right, okay. Okay. Right, now in the last one, I asked you... Uh, where I should send a scout. Ah, four star, four star. Do I go for a four star, four star? Or do I wait for a five star? I'll, I'll give it another couple of weeks. We've got the budget. We might as well spend it. I'll give it another couple of weeks. The next month will be the last month for the current two scouts as well. Uh, we'll have a quick train and then we'll uh, we'll go and play that game or sim that game against Oldham. Right, simming Oldham then. We've beaten them twice already this season 3-0 and 2-1 can we beat them for a third time wow 1-0 down after a minute they've lost their last three games but ah why is it with Dimitrov he just scores goals in simulated games my left back is loving life this season didn't he score both against Oldham in the last simulated game as well to give us the 2-1 win He's done it again! A Dimitrov brace! A 2-1... I, I don't quite know how to react to that. He's done it again. Uh, you were right disappointed not to start, but obviously uh, you only get five substitutes, unfortunately, for the uh, for the Czech Trade Trophy, and he wasn't involved on the subs bench. De Jong and Dimitrov both on international duty right now, which sucks. Uh, let's take them out then. Bejarano also on international duty. Let's throw Lugano in. Dimitrov we can take out for Clark. And Beherano will go out for... Uh, it was Robinson that can play in centre-back, can't it? Unfortunately, he's still injured, uh, Marion Ruiz. Campbell could go in there, take Morrison off the bench for Piggott. Let me do this as well, just for OCD. Actually, it's you for you, and then you for you. Right, okay. Here we go then. A game against Bradford in the league. Missing three of my better players on international duty, which is a shame. Thankfully, once we get into the championship, we won't have to deal with that anymore because uh, you do actually get international breaks in the championship, but you don't in leagues one and two in England. Brad. 
Oh, we've got one nil up after a minute this time around. Ruben Hara. Does that mean that their left back... Oh, I know he's picked up an injury. Great. Does that mean that their left back is going to score two goals and they're going to get a 2-1 win? I certainly hope not. Still 1-0 in front as we push into the second half. Coming up to the hour mark now. Still 1-0. Still 1-0. Still 1-0. Oh. 87th minute equaliser from the sub-kill gallon. Gosh darn it. Right, another quick train. He's out for three days. Okay, that's that's manageable. We can deal with a three-day injury. Bradford actually uh, third in the league, so to be fair, a draw against them isn't that bad a result. A win, though, would have seen us be third in the league and only a point behind Barnsley. We're having a good season, though, aren't we? A really good season. Right, again, we'll... Uh, oh, someone's away on international duty. Okay, never mind. I'll go and sort that out, and then we'll push forward again. Right, I'm going to sim Luton. I'm going to sim Lincoln. And then play Bristol Rovers and MK Dons, because I, I don't care about the Carabao Cup. The league is more important for us at this stage of our uh, career. So we'll sim Luton, we'll sim Lincoln, and then we'll play Bristol City. Bristol City? What are we even talking about? Bristol Rovers, Bristol City are a league above us. We'll see how we get on here. Away from home. Lincoln just got 1-0 up against Cambridge. I need to check, actually, how Cambridge are getting on. I haven't looked at the league table to... Well, I've looked at the league table. I haven't looked for them on the league table. Lugano, our scout future star, substituting on for our other scout future star, Ruben Hara. And Lyle Taylor gives us a 1-0 lead after 73 minutes. That will last until the final whistle. Yes, lads. I think we might be on for promotion this year. Right, I'm going to go and simulate training again. I'm going to remove Murray, though, because... Uh, he was only not there last time because Ruben Hara was injured. So I shall put Hara back in and continue his training on the defensive side of things. And then hopefully we can get a win against Lincoln too. Here we go then. Lincoln at home. Simulate game. Wigan still have a 100% record in the league right now. They've played 6-1-6. Six, six. Ah, Cambridge equalised against Lincoln as you can see on the right hand side there. Cambridge at least able to get a point against Lincoln City. What can we do here other than get players booked? To, oh, Dimitra. Oh, Jesus wept. What a six-minute spell. 2-1 to us as we push into her the second half. Dimitrov at it again. He's pushing. Oh, and De Jong. Nice. That's his first goal for the club, I think. 3-1. And we'll end 3-1. Nice. We might even be pushing for automatic promotion. We're only three points away. Managerial rating has shot up to 90. Right then. I'll have a... God, Wigan won again. They won again. Right, we'll go and play... We'll go and play this game then. But that's the league table at present. Wigan, seven wins from seven. Barnsley, six wins from seven. We've got five wins from seven. Three points off top of the table. Barnsley haven't conceded a goal yet. Are you sure? What a defensive record that is. Cambridge in 18th and above the relegation zone, but they haven't won a game yet. Come on, lads. People are in the relegation zone, though. That makes me happy. They haven't won a game yet either. Hopefully Cambridge's first win comes against the Borough. Right, Bristol Rovers away. Players uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Sensi, forward there into Lyle Taylor. He's, given <sighs> He's not very strong for a big man, is he, Lyle Taylor? Nice oh, tackle by Cooper on Gundiz. Walker. He do young. Let's use the right back first. Cooper will just get there. I'll give that inside to Lyle, actually. He's so hit and miss, Lyle Taylor. He's either absolutely deadly or he's just a lump and he's terrible. Across to Dave Walker. Nice turn. We'll drive into the space. Lyle's making the run. Oh, we've poked him through beautifully. Lyle Taylor, 1-0. He is either amazing or terrible. And in a three-minute in-game spell there, he was both terrible, then amazing. Lovely ball by Dave Walker, actually. The other side, the defender. And a top finish. We are in front. Campbell through the gap to Lyle Taylor. You've got crunch there, Lyle. Uh, Riley Campbell, sorry. Lyle Taylor. Oh, 
was the intended recipient. But Ewan Wright will bury it in the bottom corner. 2-0 Wimbledon after half an hour. Man in the middle got nailed. Absolutely nailed. That ball was meant for Lyle Taylor, but I'll take the goal. Thank you very much. Is he all right to continue? Has he got a little class to someone else? No, everyone's fine. Dave Walker's running a little bit low on stamina, but everyone's fine. And uh, out to Bennett. Love that. Thank you. Forward to Bell. Into Lyle Taylor. I see the run from side. Oh, he wanted to say CM. It's not. It's Samuel. Oh, Samuel De Jong. I'm, I'm just going to stop saying his first name. De Jong. It's De Jong. The weird thing, someone pointed this out actually on Twitter the other day and a couple of people in the comments section. On his like little... I don't know whether it's the same in the menus or in the actual team management screen. I could probably check actually, can't I? Can I check? It's not going to show his face, is it? Actually, if I do this... Yeah, look. De Jong is a white guy in the picture but on pitch obviously he's black looks nothing like his like his in-game character looks nothing like his menu character what is that all about free kick for Rovers 20 minutes to go conduce with the delivery okay thank you for getting in the way there Mr. Cooper see if we can get the corner away then shall we I'd like a clean sheet that'd be lovely I don't keep many on FIFA 18. It's kind of a running theme in the a running joke on Twitter. Every now and again when I say, oh, something amazing. Oh, wow. Every now and again when I tweet out being like, oh, something amazing just happened in career mode, someone will reply with, her clean sheet, and then some sort of dodgy gif. To be fair, I deserve it, because I do very, very rarely keep clean sheets on FIFA 18. So, fair play. Nice flicked header by Quizzy. Joe Pickett will just out-muscle the defender. We'll play it back, and then out wide. Right's barely got any stamina left, but we'll look for Quezzy there, who will look for Joe Piggott to maybe not score a fourth, because he just wouldn't kick it because there was a man next to him. He's won it back, though, so fair play. And squeeze it through, and Quezzy will score a fourth. All right, well, if Joe Piggott can't do it, Quezzy will. This is, I think, my biggest win that I've personally played in this save to this point. It's definitely up there. A couple of people pointed out in the comment section, and I have to agree, there is, has been a significant difference in the quality of football that I'm playing in Season 2 from Season 1. You can tell that the quality of player that uh, we're using has improved, and that I'm becoming more and more well-adjusted to using this squad. 4-0 victory here. We'll uh, go and simulate the game against Hull, and then we'll play the game against MK Dons. Right, simulating the cup tie, as we say... Cup football is just not important for me this season. We really need to concentrate on the league and get ourselves out of League One into the Championship. We had a, a decent development first year with just turning, you know, just general player turnover, bringing in the new kids. Oh, Dave Walker gives us a 1 0 lead. Would be a shock result if we were to beat Hull. With 10 minutes to go. I'll shut up, shall I? Extra time. It's gone to extra time in every round in the Carabao Cup so far this season. And Torral, John Torral has come off the bench. And we'll give Hull City a 2-1 win. We were very close to knocking out higher division opposition. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Aidan McCall wants to talk about his uh, first team football. But unfortunately for him, he's not very good. So, he's not going to get much first-team football. Ah, Esteve Marin Ruiz is on his way back from injury. That's good news. Is he able to play? He's got... Oh, no, is the answer. Not at all. But I'll put him back in the uh, in the squad. So I'm probably not going to need a centre-back off the bench anyway. In before someone gets injured. Right, MK Dons. Where's he? To Lyle Taylor. Arriving on the outside is Ewan Wright. Drill it into the middle. Oh, okay. It was a cross, not a shot. Great ball forward. Rene Gard knocks that down. Jason Eke in possession, but it's a terrible through ball. I seem to remember losing last time I played MK Dons. So I'd like to rectify that today if I can. We're obviously chasing automatic promotion this year. They are currently 15th in the lead, so not having the best of seasons. But they do still have a very good team. 
Yeah. Kieran Agard tore me apart actually last time we played them, so I have to be wary of him. I have to be wary of pretty much everyone, really. Quasi can make a run. To be fair, Lyle Taylor's got some space to break into. I'll try and knock it ahead of me here. He's done well. We'll keep going. We'll cut back. Give it to Quasi. That's not Quasi. Oh, but De Jong will tuck it away anyway. We lead by a goal to nil after nine minutes. It's Samuel De Jong. Ah, that's not gone well. That's really not gone well. 1-1. One, one. Chatsuniki slots through Kieran Agard, who's going to have the legs to get away from me here. Good save by Bennett. They very nearly quickly turned that around on the MK Dons. That's a hell of a clearance. Might still be able to build on it. Quasi looking to make the run in behind. Quasi gets away as they nearly make it 2-1 at one end. Oh, we very nearly make it 2-1 at the other. Wow. Jackson. We kick lofted forward. So, oh, it's a lovely one too. Please don't. Oh, yes, Sensi. That's where being six foot five comes in handy. Those long, rangy legs to pluck off the through balls. Nice ball into Chaksiniki, though. Sal with a turn. Oh, he's hit the post. This has been a hell of a game so far. Both sides having hit the post since being uh, drawn at level at 1 1. Well, Taylor could be played in behind. Can we have another opportunity on the counter attack? After they've come close, we can, but Nichols with the save, and it will not be a corner. Very well kept in by the defender. De Jong around the corner, though. Here's Hara. Gets that to right. Into Lyle Taylor, who turns. Lyle! Another save by Nichols. We will take the corner this time. Ten minutes to go till half time. It's been a hell of a derby. Ruben Hara with the delivery. Quezzi's up. And Cissé clears. That's a lovely ball over the top. Please get there. Oh, oh nicely done. Huh? Thought they were going to be in behind there. Go back to Quezzi. Oh, why has he done that? I'm totally too sure he's broken past the tackle there. He's De Jong. Taylor. Around the corner. Um, Ewan Wright shrugs off the man. Apparently didn't foul him, but can't find the bottom corner. Pretty sure that was a foul. Very, very nearly. 2-1. Sal. Agard. Nice tackle by Cooper. Forward to Quezzi. Cut back. Go back to De Jong. Out to Bell. Get that through there to Lyle. Need runners. There's a runner. It's Will Bell himself. Bell! What a block by Jackson. Unbelievable. Corners come in from Hara. And oh, it's over the top of the man that was underneath it. And they'll clear it away. Or will they? Sensi! If he's up for a header, he might win it. No. Mitchell steps in. Oh! Okay. He just destroyed Quezzi, and the referee was like, nah. I mean, I know it's a derby, you should let something slide, but that was certainly a nasty challenge and needed to be dealt with by the referee. I'm quite frustrated that he hasn't. Well, Taylor will pull that back to De Jong. We'll look for Quezzi. Can he punish them by scoring a goal? Don't piss off Quezzi Appia. Wimbledon 2, MK Dons 1. We're in front again. Grandos again. Around the outside. Oh, nicely cut back. This would be a great goal. They are so unlucky, MK Dons. That would have been a superb goal for another equaliser. They could yet still score. They... Oh, and they have. Oh, no. 2-2. Two, two. That finish was top quality. The move previous was top quality. They deserved a goal from that. Fair play, 2-2. Two, two. Into De Jong. To Appiah. Man in the middle just stood there with his hands raised. I didn't know what was going on for a minute. De Jong. Lyle Taylor. Oh, shoot. Quizzy. No, he's hit the man that was on the floor. It's going to be a corner. Thought we were about to go in front again. The call with a cross. That would be keeper's ball. Oh, he's only punched it. Let's loft it back in again. And, oh, Lyle Taylor couldn't quite stretch high enough. Here's Rasulo. Across to Sal. Oh, big interception from Sensi. Big interception from Britain. Sow again, through the gap. Wooten, saved by Bennett, and oh, spins away for a corner. Oh, don't like this. Scott Wooten with the corner. There's seconds remaining in the game. 
Campbell gets up ahead of Sensi. I don't know, not sure why he, he went for it. Cooper gets there. Wright can't get rid of it, though. Wooten with the turn. Yes, Cooper, you've done well this time. Just get rid. I tried to smack it. It didn't work. Worked second time around. Quezzy with a big header. Can we go on another counter-attack? Can we get ourselves a winner? McCall. Still coming. McCall will cut back. I see the man at the back post. Head it back across goal. No, it's going to drop here to Logano. Logano turns. Campbell. Substitute to substitute. Ooh, no. Could have won it with the last kick of the game, but unfortunately the finish was terrible. To be fair, both teams probably deserved a point from that, but that was one hell of a derby. Cambridge lose again. Peterborough lose again. I wonder if Cambridge or Peterborough have actually won a game by this point at the end of September. I don't think they will have done. Uh, we'll have a quick train. We'll have a quick train. Players are growing really well, though, in this save. I think in the next one, depending on how many games we have in the month of uh, October, I might do a, a squad report to show you guys how everyone's getting on. How many games do we have in October? Let's have a look. October's... Sorry, November. Yeah, no, October. October's quite a busy month. November's not. I'll do a squad report in November. Remind me, all Cambridge game coming up. No, not calendar. I didn't want to do that. We'll have a look at the league table. There it is. League table! We are third. Four points away from automatic promotion. The way things are going right now, Barnsley and Wigan look like they're going to run away with those automatic spots. Barnsley have finally conceded a goal. One. In nine games. I am not looking forward to playing them. Cambridge still haven't won and are in the relegation zone. Peterborough still haven't won and have dropped even further down. And Berry still haven't won. Cambridge, please, don't get yourselves all the way up into League One only to then get relegated immediately. Please don't do that to me. We, though, are third. We are genuine promotion contenders this season. We're having a superb year thus far and hopefully it continues. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. I'll see you next time.